Hi guys, today I'm going to be upgrading a hard drive on this HP Pavilion Gaming laptop here. I'm adding one to the original one. These laptops come with a small SSD or a 256 or a 500 gig, but they also have a blanking spot in them so you can put another SSD in as well. You're going to need a small Phillips screwdriver, something like that, really, really tiny. And the first thing you're going to do is pop the back off. So what we're going to do is turn it over. Three screws, one there, one there, one there, and then at the back four screws. So one, two, three, four. Take all those off first. Okay guys, so now we've got the uh, back successfully off. Just put that safely to one side. We are going to move over to this area here. This is actually a dummy hard drive caddy for this system. It's actually a blanking plate, so we can completely take that out and put in a proper SSD. Okay, so what we're going to do is start by removing this screw right here. Let's focus on that one. And you've also got two more. Well, I've already started with these ones. One here and one under the ribbon just here. So we're going to go ahead, take the last screw out and go from there. Ideal to use a magnetic screwdriver, guys, because these are like really, really tiny screws. And if you drop it in your laptop, you can have a real fun time of things. So let's just put that to one side. There's the other two, so I've got all of them. Moving along, you can now lift carefully. It sort of hooks up and out. And then what we're going to do is basically grip this each side and pull it clean off. Once pulled away, as you can see, you've got your caddy in your hand there, and it's a dummy. It's basically completely blank. It's, it's nothing. It's just a gap filler. What we've got to do now is remove these four little grub screws, one there, one there, same on the other side, and insert your SSD that you've purchased. Now, obviously, this is a full-size SSD, not like the little tiny one that you've got over there. So let's go ahead, take these four screws out, put your SSD in. Once you've got all your four little tiny screws out, so if you put to one side, you just basically lift out the dummy caddy, like so, leaving the frame, and get your new SSD. The one I'm using, like I was saying, is a Samsung one. I did actually previously have it in a caddy. Sometimes it's the cheapest way to buy these things if they're in an external caddy. But it pops out the caddy, and it's just a little one, 500 gigabyte, there you go. 60 Evo and as you can see it's got the screws on the side to line up with your laptop caddy okay once you've got all four screws in please pay attention to the orientation of the drive so label is that way on yeah we're now going to pop that in and we've got to connect the connector onto there now to do that rip each side firmly and shove squarely straight onto the edge connector of the hard drive. Once your connector's back on, just sort of click the drive in at an angle first and then down so that your little locating lugs go over the screw holes like so. Like I say, be careful of this ribbon, it's very, very delicate. Now proceed to put your three screws back into the hard drive caddy, like so. Then you're sort of ready to look at putting your casing back on. Just so you know, guys, at a later date, we'll be showing you how to double your RAM on this one. The RAM's under this sort of heat sticky paper that's on here. I mean, you can lift this up. It's a, like a glue. Yeah, there you go. There's your RAM boards underneath. Look, we can double the memory, no problem, on this computer. This has got two four gigabyte sticks, as you can see. Pop that back over for now, and we'll do that at a later date. But moving back onto this, we're now going to pop our cover back on, which is basically a hinge defer. It sort of clicks on at the rear here. So this is the pivot for the screen, yeah? And it clicks onto this and then folds down onto these diagonal screws that are on the front. So in other words, there's your pavilion sign lock. I can't really do this one-handed, but it goes edge first and then click down. Once you've got it in place, just go around clicking it firmly 
all the way around. You'll hear it snap shut like this one is doing. It's got plastic clips all around. There you go, you can hear it locking into place. And simply put back in the screws that you removed earlier. So you've got your four long ones just here. You get focused there. Pop those in. Tighten them all down all the way around. And then you've got your three at the front to pop back in as well. Here we have the computer all powered back up again. And if we go over to this corner of the screen, there you go, Windows C drive and the 860 SSD as D drive working fine.